something you said really stood out to me though, and, and my wife Monica has also talked about this, is um, that idea of uh, the isolation that could be felt by a young, a young parent, and, and specifically like let's say a, a young mother, that people would maybe not re, uh, realize. Yeah, especially, I think things may have changed given um, the normalization and culture around social media. So I, I'm pleased to say that I see parents now having these really interesting lives online, making connections with each other online, and then bringing that into the real world. And um, at the time when I had kids, I think my space was still fairly new. <laughs> Yeah, I had Friendster <laughs> still. I think I had just canceled my Makeout Club account. Oh um, my God. So not not aging myself at all here. <laughs> um, but it it was it was a place still where you showed up, you posted cool pictures of like your hair or what show you went to, but no one was talking about like. Hey, I'm a new mom. I'm lonely. Yeah. Who wants to hang out? Totally. Totally. I'm a new mom. I'm struggling with this one area. Who wants to talk about it? I'm a new mom. I'm depressed. Who else has had these these feelings? And on that same note, speaking about mental health as a parent has become so much more normalized mm -hmm. and destigmatized. That there's just a lot more resources out there now than there was when I had kids. I internalized a lot of my loneliness. I didn't want to put burden on my husband because he was working like crazy to make sure that we were all taken care of. Um, my closest confidant is my grandmother <laughs> at this point, and she's like in her 80s, and she's like, well, back in my day. <laughs> Like, well, okay, I'll just not talk about how I'm feeling. <laughs> but yeah, it's it was um it was really difficult to navigate and I felt like I was navigating it on my own. I would encourage any young or new parents out there listening to find their people and use the tools at their fingertips, literally at their fingertips, in their pockets, um, to find their communities and their people and, and always mental health resources if you need them.